To be able to do this lesson, it is very important that you already understand how to use sin, cos, and tan. I have explained this in previous lessons, so if you haven't watched those first, then it's important that you first make sure you understand that. Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to be using trig ratios, namely sin, cos, and tan, to actually solve and find angles in triangles. So let's quickly remind ourselves what Sokotoa means. It means that sin is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, see how there's a SOH, there's a SOH. Cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. See how there's a CAH, so there's CAH. And then tan is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And so you see how there's TOA, so that's TOA. Okay, so just make sure that you have all of that. So make sure you have all of that written down, okay? So, okay, so what the goal of this question is, is to find the unknown angle. So that's this one over here, okay? Now, what you gotta do is go highlight that angle. Okay, so there we have it highlighted. Then go label your triangle. So we know that the side opposite the 90 that's always called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle that you are looking at is called the opposite. The other side, which is this one, is called the adjacent. Okay, next, write down Sokotoa. Next, have a look at what you have. So you don't know what this side is. Um, we don't know what, there's no number there. Can you see that? But we know that there's a 32 here, okay? And we know that there's a 10. So we have, we know those two. So we have the adjacent. Okay, so we have the adjacent. And then we also have, oh, you, and then we also know this side over here is a 10. So we have the opposite. So we have the opposite over here. So that means that we are going to have to use tan because we have the opposite and the adjacent, whereas here we don't have the hypotenuse and here we don't have the hypotenuse. So we're going to say tan of this angle that we don't know what it is, is going to be equal to opposite because tan is always equal to opposite over adjacent. And so tan of this angle is going to be uh, 10 over 32. Now, to actually find the angle, listen carefully, to actually find that angle, you're going to say um, inverse tan of 10 over 32. So you might have to ask your teacher how to do this, but on some calculators, you're going to say second function, or you're going to press the shift button, for example, and you're going to say tan, or you're going to say shift or second function tan um, of 10 over 32. If you get this correct you should get an angle of 17.35 degrees. So maybe just play around with that on your calculator, ask a friend, speak to your teacher, make sure that you can get the angle as 17.35 degrees. Here's the next example. So first of all, always write down Sokotoa. Now they're asking for this angle. So highlight that. Go label your triangle. So the side opposite the 90, that's always the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle you're looking for is the opposite. The other side is what we call the adjacent. Now what you need to do is look at the sides that you have. So you have this 38, which is the hypotenuse, and you have the 20, which is the adjacent. Now look at these three, sin, cos, and tan. Which one has all the information? Cos. You can't use this one because it doesn't have opposite. You can't use this one because it doesn't have opposite. Of course you could use Pythagoras and go find the opposite, but we're trying to make it as little work as possible. So we would use this one. So you could say cos of this angle, which we don't know, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. 
And so we could say cos of this angle is adjacent, which is 20, over the hypotenuse, which is 38. And so we could say cos... The, uh, or now, what we'll do now, sorry, I was going to simplify, but it's not necessary. Now, to find the angle, you're going to go um, inverse cos. So to do that, you're going to have to press a button on your calculator. Um, maybe the button's called second function. Maybe the button is called um, shift, something like that. But you need to figure that part out. If you get that correct, you should get an angle of 58.24 degrees. Start by doing Sokotoa. Then highlight the angle. Go label your triangle. So the one that's opposite the 90 is always called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle is the opposite. The other side is called the adjacent. So let's go see what we have. Well, we have this 12, which is the hypotenuse, and we have the 4, which is the adjacent. So that's this one and this one. So let's use cos because it's got the most information. So you would say cos of this angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And so that's going to be cos of this angle is then going to be adjacent, which is 4, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. To get the angle now, you're going to have to say inverse cos. So you'll have to find a little button on your calculator that allows you to do that. And if you do this correctly, you would get 70,53 degrees. So here's our next example. So we always like to start with Sokotoa. Then go highlight the angle that they're looking for, which is there. Then label your triangle. So the side opposite the 90 is always called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle that you are looking for is called the opposite. And then the other side is the adjacent. Now let's go see what they've actually given us. They've given us this side, which is the opposite. So let's go underline that and that. And we have the hypotenuse, so that's that and that. So I would use sin because that's where the most information is. So you could say sin of this angle is opposite over hypotenuse. And so you could say sin of this angle is 21 over 22. To get the angle, you're going to have to use inverse sin. So as I've said, try find that on your calculator. And if you do this correctly, you should get 72,66 degrees. Here's our last example. So start by finding Sokotoa or writing it down, sorry. Then find, go highlight the angle. Then label your triangle. So the side opposite the 90 is always called the hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle is always called the opposite. And the other side is called the adjacent. Now let's go see what we have. So the seven is the adjacent, so that's, we have adjacent. And the 9 is the hypotenuse, so we have that as well. So I would use this one because that's where the most information is. So we're going to say cos of that angle is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so we could say cos of that angle is adjacent, which is 7 over the hypotenuse, which is 9. Then to get the angle, you would say inverse cos of 7 over 9. And if you had to work that out, you should get 38.94 degrees.